Hi, this is Alan from Hogdive and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I want to talk about Duet Display and give it a more in-depth look and of course, focus on the application itself, the features and the things that it can do, of course. Before all that, I'll hop onto my desktop and show you exactly what we are talking about today. Right now, we are on my desktop. I am on my web browser and I'm currently on the Duet Display dot com website the web display is an application that allows you to basically extend your monitor through other devices makes sense let's say you have one monitor right here you take your phone have the web display installed to both of them your main machine will be your host display and your second machine is going to be your client display and it can be your secondary monitor you can drag apps in there and you can actually even use the touch screen functionality of your device especially if it's a tablet an iphone or a device with touch screen but that's great now that you know what the display is i'm going to touch on quickly on how you can get it now it has a one week free trial and actually i have covered do it display in this youtube channel before and on our articles over at hogdev.com you can just hop onto here search for do it display on windows 11 and in this video too i have included a free alternative to do it display but again as stated we're going to focus on do it display for today so right here to do your one week free trial just click on start one week trial you would have to have a credit card a visa card a debit card whatever that will enable you to get that one week free trial you can easily cancel it anyway but we've already done that i've got my account so i'm just going to click on download and then click on download again do it display is only available for windows 10 and above it is also available on mac os 11 plus 10 13 10 15. now for your client side of things you can get it over at app store and google play cool now i'm going to click on do it display from windows 10. i'm going to download the do it setup i'm going to start the download right here open this is going to launch the installer Press yes. And here you go. Do it display is now going to be installing. While it is downloading on your host machine, let's press agree, install. You can also install it on your device. In this case, I'm going to be using my iPhone. So I'm going to head over to App Store. And on top part right here, I'm going to be searching for Do It Display. Click it right here. And of course, I have downloaded it before. So I'm just going to press the download, redownload button right here. Cool. Do it display is now redownloaded on both of my computer and on my phone. Now I'm going to press finish. I'm going to have this application right here. So this is do it. And I'm also going to open it on my phone. But before all that, I want to talk about the things that you can do with do it display. So it has a keyboard support. You can use the input of your iPhone or another device if they support that feature. It has an integration of the Apple Pencil or the S Pen for Samsung tablet devices. If you have those two, again, I'm not going to be able to demo those in this video because I'm only going to be using my iPhone. And of course, it has the touch gestures that it has, which I'm going to be showing you later on. And of course, it also has a toolbar for your phone to be managed. But we're going to be talking about the application itself too. So let's run it. Do a display like that and press no for this one. I don't need to send external things to connect with your devices to do it. Display app may need to request network access. Press yes. I'm going to press yes again. And from here, it's going to ask you to sign in. So you would need to sign in to both your iPhone right here. Once you open the Duet Display app, and you're also going to be having to sign in on a Duet Display app over at your computer. So I'm going to press sign in and I'll be right back. So now I have finished logging into the computer and also on my phone. Now, what are the things that we can do when, of course, we've done logged in? As you can see, I have the Duet display right here. I have the main GUI of the application over on my computer and also on the phone right now. How can we go through this? How can I connect Duet display, my phone, to the computer so I can use it with a computer and Duet display and do all the things that I want to do with Duet display? Well, there are two ways. The first one is by cable. Now, I forgot my cable. What am I supposed to do now? How can I 
connect the two devices without a cable? Will that be a problem? No, not really. Because here at Do It Display, we can use the air mode, which means it can wirelessly connect to your computer or to your host computer. Now that we do that, or we click that, and we got both programs enabled, open, running, we now have our selection. Keep in mind, these two devices are connected on the same network, so it can literally just detect it as instant as a snap. Now there's two options here, mirror and extend. Mirror basically mirrors what you see in your monitors over to your phone, while extend makes it so that your phone becomes an extension of your whole screen or your whole setup. Okay, let's do mirror first. Here, I'm gonna press on mirror, it's going to connect to my PC. And as you can see, there are two monitors connected. One is where I see my OBS. And the first one right here to the left is my main monitor. I want to mirror the main monitor. I'm going to press it. Adjusting resolution. Cool. This is now what I have. So there are multiple things that you can do. As you can see, we have a toolbar down here. Sadly, the toolbar is kind of glitching up with my phone because my phone is really small. So I don't want to close this for now. It basically kind of acts like the semi keyboard of the device right here. So here I can use my arms or my arms, my fingers to resize my window, move the window around. Of course, this depends on your internet connection too, of how smooth it will be if you connect wirelessly. And I just happen to have a bad internet while being connected wirelessly. So, um, but yeah, as you can see, pretty smooth, almost real time of moving. I can move that around. I can maximize, just use the touch interface with my phone. As you can see, I can even go to the settings. I can do do with air, whatever settings, email us. I'm just gonna keep it right there. But as you can see, I also have this bottom bar right here. So let's say I wanna open up the notepad. And this is a notepad app. We have it open and we can type on it using our phone. I can press on the keyboard right here. It'll pop up with my phone. And what if I tell you that um, I can use the dictation too. So on other phones or other devices, you can use the dictation. Again, mine's a little bugged, maybe because my phone's a little old now, but it is supposed to allow you to do dictation too. But for now, I can do slide typing on my iPhone and it will consider it over at my Windows machine. Here, how about, how about checking my socials over at, at Alan Avil underscore. Those are my mains. And of course, why not subscribe to, oh, those two, I can double tap on that. Subscribe to Hawk Dive. Will it do it? Nope. Hawk Dive. Doesn't want to do it, but Hawk Dive. Boom. Easy as that. Of course, I can also use the Windows um, things. I can pull this down. I can use the arrow keys to move over on to whatever I'm doing and copy paste, use shift, use tab. I'm gonna bring that down. And as you can see, that is really cool. Now I have tested the gesture and some people says the two finger swipe gesture works. As you can see, there are two fingers pressing on the screen right now. But from what I can see, it doesn't really wanna work with my case because I really think my phone is a little old for this, but that is basically what mirror does. It just mirrors your phone. It allows you to use the, of course, the touch screen of your phone. And as I have mentioned earlier, you are able to use your S Pen or your Apple Pen uh, on a programs such as Adobe, and they will be seeing, or at least your Windows machine will be able to actually realize that that is a pressure sensitive pen, which means it would work properly with all the pressure sensitive feature of those pens, which are great, amazing for artists, and everything really cool. As you can see, there is also a zoom mode as a feature on the toolbar down here, which I can literally just press on screen, zoom in specific area of screen while connected to your remote device, you may turn off 
to allow it to scroll zoom pan so i can zoom in there you go how about checking my social over at alan avila when and subscribe to hawk dive which by the way you definitely should and that is cool you can easily zoom in you can still use your touch screen once you do the application mode and then you can toggle screen again and while we're here why not let's talk about the display settings available on the application so there are multiple settings right here you can change the frame rate and you can change the performance those are the only real two things i can change this to 120 fps will consume more bandwidth but will be a lot smoother for your phone and device especially if you use an ipad with a 120 hertz display and on the performance i want to make it energy or pixel perfect this is gonna not be the best performance for me again my internet is bad it should give me the highest density for the quality so i'm gonna go and press on the screen again and i'm gonna zoom out and i'm gonna press application that should be nice that should be good and yeah there are more settings here while i'm here i'm gonna hop onto the computer real quick and show you these settings so this is on duet display and i can enable duet air able connect wirelessly although that is unchecked you can literally just use your phone so that it can connect to the computer without that being checked so i don't know why you can also allow the screen sharing for audio sharing enabled let's say you want to play a game using maybe you attach a controller to your computer but you're kind of far in a different room you want to use your phone as the main display and you want to hear from your phone too so you can click on audio sharing enabled now of course if you have a graphics card on your computer make sure that enable hardware accelerated encoding is on because that will give you the maximum performance available and of course you want to install the android driver if you are using an android phone enable android usb support should be checked always but that is cool that is great again this is also working on my phone really fine but now let's move on to the other one what about extended monitor boom we can now press extend also now that i have actually enabled the connection with air or do with air i'll now see the devices available compatible to the do with display app on the windows right here i can press on connect and it'll connect i did extend it is automatically in extend and now as you can see i am running it's adjusting the resolution right now boom i am currently using it as a third monitor it is right here and that is pixel perfect without me having to zoom in still works with my phone and as you can see you can do auto connect on device you can also change the frame rate once again same thing and of course you can also change the resolution now i'm going to keep it on the highest because that's what i want and that is cool now, what are the things you can do here? Now, not much gestures are available for this one, but let's say I want to bring up Spotify and I want to drag it. Let me let me quickly drag it. Let's say this is let's say this is an extended monitor. I can drag it, boom, and you know, I can just use Spotify. I can use my, of course, fingers right here, press on search, what do I want to listen to? Now the sad thing about this. Again, some features does not work properly for me. I cannot pull up the keyboard. I cannot use the double double finger swipe, but it acts now. My phone now acts like a proper just touchscreen device. If I press search, of course, I would not be able to type with my phone. I would have to type, you know, using my keyboard here that is connected on the computer. Say Harry Styles, we can press on Harry Styles. And you know, you can select your song. You can actually easily browse just like any touchscreen devices here. You can go and press on what you want, such as let's say this album, Harry's House. And you, you know, you can just use it like any other, any other phone. I can actually hear it right now. So I'm gonna pause that real quick and we can exit out of the app. as simple as that. That is just the extended mode. Now imagine all the things that I've showed you, but on bigger devices, because that is how you're supposed to use this phone. Oh, and by the way, if you do want to disconnect, you can just exit out of the app or you can press the disconnect button on the device that you are connected to. Let's just do disconnect. My screen will flicker and that should be it. Press exit and that's good. Now, what if you want to uninstall Do It? 
well, it is easy to uninstall. You can easily just go into your programs and features. Just search for installed apps. From there, just search for do it. Press the triple dot, click on install, uninstall. Press yes, no drivers were actually reinstalled here or installed. So you can just easily uninstall it from there. Are you sure you want to uninstall do it display? Press yes. Take a few minutes. Would you like to remove? Yes. That should be good. You're free of do it display. Now, if you like it, you can keep it. It is an amazing program, especially if you're on the go portable. But as for me, I would not really have much use for it, but I made this video for you guys. I think that would be it for me in this video. Again, if you want to learn more about the overview of this application, like a quick one and a free alternative for it, I already covered that in this same YouTube channel, which is Hawkdive. That's all for me for today. Again, this is Alan from Hawkdive. And don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and we'll see you again in the next Hawkdive video. Have a nice day and goodbye.